what's up y'all welcome back to my channel so i literally just got word that they just tried to off trump now y'all know i don't get on here talking anything political or anything like that but this is something serious now i'm not gonna post any clips because as you guys know youtube is not gonna allow me to post what i saw i'm in the store and tyrone sends me a message and he's like yo did you just hear they just tried to get trump i'm like what he sends me clips on twitter which is where i saw these clips and i could not believe what i saw like they didn't hear they didn't sound like like hard gunshots they sounded like small pops but something hit him because in the second clip that i saw he some it grazed his ear something hit him he's his face was all bloody and then he he like gets down and they're covering him and and you know his security gets on him and then when he stands up you can see his face is all bloody and he's up raising his fist and i'm like yo this is insane like somebody just tried to get trump i don't I don't I don't do political talk. I really don't. I don't get into that stuff to each his own. But here's my thoughts on this whole thing. Now this is getting scary. This is getting really scary. I am not for the violence. I am not for doing that to especially to a president. I don't care how much you dislike this man or how much you dislike Biden or whoever it is. There is like I am not for violence to this magnitude when it comes to I'm not into violence at all at all but to do something like this to a man who you do not approve of as being president or who you don't want to be president or whatever the case may be this is not okay this is not okay this is getting scary um you know and and it really makes me nervous to see something like this like first and foremost how Wherever he's at, wherever the rally is at this point, you would think that having a president of any magnitude in this place, you would think that the security would be top notch. How did anybody get into this area with something on them, a weapon or whatever the case this may ha this may have been a BB gun, this had been a real gun, maybe this was something else, I don't know, but it was something enough to hurt this man it was enough to have physical infliction on this man the face his face was bloody he clearly did not look like he was phased at all which is also scary in itself um but i'm not for killing anyone um i don't care how much you dislike this person or that person this president or the other to go to this magnitude um, just to take somebody out is not okay. It's never okay. Um, you know, and and these rallies are, are supposed to be peaceful. These rallies are supposed to be secure enough to whether you like him or not. Um, you know, you go to these rallies to hear him out, to hear him speak or whatever the case may be. So for everyone to have gone in there and not have been either patted down, searched, like, this man at one point was the president of the United States and may very well be the president of the United States at some point if things go in his favor. So I don't know what I've never been to any presidential rally or anything like that. But for it to not be secure enough to, to where someone can go in there with a weapon and get this close to hurting this man. I mean, this man could have lost an eye. This man could have. Let me tell you something. Even if it's a BB gun, that can do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay? It may not be a real gun, but it's a BB gun. And that alone can do damage. That man could have lost an eye. Something could have happened. It could have been a lot worse. So, shame on security, first of all, for not checking everyone that came in there and make sure that, you know, the place was secure enough for this man. Knowing the heat that comes with him. 
You know, and I'm not trying to be funny, but there's some heat that comes with Trump, whether you like him or not. But what's savage about the situation is the fact that he got back up and threw his fists up in the air like he was not phased at all. Now, again, I don't get political. I, I don't... It's, it's almost like if these two are the only ones running, you got to pick the best out of the two evils type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Um, that was that was pretty daggone savage of him. I don't know if that were to if that were Biden. I don't know if that would have gone down that way. Um, you know, uh, Biden looks frail compared to Trump. And this isn't me being funny. This is me being honest. Um, it could have been worse. It could have been not, but I, I don't know, you know, but this is, this is some crazy, crazy times we're living in right now. This is not okay. Um, I don't wish harm, especially not this kind of harm on either one of them, but this is absolutely insane. It's, it's crazy. It's scary. Um, and what's funny is that after I saw the clips, I went on the media sites. I don't see any headlines. I don't see anything. So I'm wondering if this is something that literally got freshly released. Like if this is unfolding as we speak, um, that's one thing. But I do not see any media sites at all. I think CNN might have, might have something at this point. I don't know who was what media outlet was recording this rally at all for it to be put on Twitter but I I never thought that I would see something like this I've never seen anything like this um you know this is something out of a freaking movie like this is if you guys go on Twitter and look up Trump and look up this situation that's something straight out of a movie like this is absolutely crazy. Leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts. After you go see those clips, come back and let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, this is wild. This is really wild. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.